is Anne from Naomi's Home Health. What is it that I do? I am guiding you and educating you to live a cleaner lifestyle in order for your long-term health and wellness. So I get a lot of these with clients and, you know, even friends or whatever asking me about how do I stop eating gluten, I can't stop eating gluten or I don't want to stop eating gluten or I can't stop eating dairy or whatever it is that may trigger their health issues. And looking at it, it's if you are struggling to eliminate foods for the benefit of your health, work on the emotional reason behind it first. So it's really difficult to sometimes dive into a health program when you're not addressing the emotional cause. So you know, you can you can be so desperate, like for me it was that I was so desperate to feel better that I removed foods and you do get used to it. You get used to not having gluten, like bread is my favorite, bread and cheese and butter together. Like I've always said they should be a superfood. They're my favorite things to eat. When I was healing, I didn't eat it at all. So drop in the comments if you found it really hard to eliminate foods or, you know, like this post or let me know what you think because I get so many people beating themselves up for not being able to eliminate foods that are causing sensitivities in their body or, you know, if they're trying to heal and they're like, no, that's it, you know, they become very resistant and it's not about the food, it's about how you are emotionally connected to that food or, you know, basically a lot of the reason why you're sick is because of maybe an emotional trauma, stress, a lot of things happening in your life or that did happen in your life fix that first work on that first change your mindset working on how we can feel better about ourselves emotionally first that is the difficult thing to recognize because we don't want to look at the emotional first it's so much easier in our minds to look at the physical right how can I take a pill for this how can I what supplement can I take for this you are not going to heal anything by taking a pill, forcing yourself to remove foods that you don't want to remove and you, your, your mind is all over the place and your emotions are all over the place. It is about you learning what triggers, um, what's, what's triggering your emotions, what's triggering, you know, a lot of people say to me, but they don't, I don't have emotional issues or I don't have emotional problems or I don't have trauma or I don't have stress. I call BS on that. We all have had stress in our life in some way, shape or form. It could be from high school, from some kid teasing you. It could be something that you, a, a car accident that you, that you had. There are things that have happened in our lives that cause stress that we haven't let go of, we haven't addressed, we haven't looked at. And then we try and heal our bodies by eliminating foods and depriving ourselves of things. And... We, find, we don't know, we don't understand why we find it so difficult. It's difficult because you haven't addressed some of the reasons what that, that triggered you to become sick or some of the reasons that's holding you back from becoming better. I get people who are, get very upset with me if I talk about removing foods or if I talk about emotional healing. They have, and... I'm trying to say them you need to look at why you're getting upset with me right now this is not me picking on you or me saying hey I think I'm gonna make this person suffer by taking away their favorite food it's something that is causing issues in your body it's something that you are emotionally attached to so you need to look at that and this is what I've found over and over and over and people beat themselves up if you fall off the diet wagon or whatever it is that you're trying to follow at the time, a lot of people be absolutely beat themselves up. If you're beating yourself up about what you have or haven't eaten that day, that's an emotional issue. That's a trigger. That's an issue in your body. So looking at some of these things and working on them, going easy on yourself, that's going to help you a lot more than the pill, the supplement, the diet, you know, following all these diets and sticking to the one thing for a long time and being hard on yourself. That's a stress in your body. This is what we're trying to remove. 
and your body is going to tell you when you don't like something i mean when you are super unwell you're going to have to remove foods because in your when you the way your liver works the pathogens the viral load the toxicity in your liver you need to take away some foods that are going to feed the heavy metals the pathogens the toxicity all of that certain foods feed that they keep it in your liver we want to remove those so then we can use other foods to get them out but when you are struggling to do that there is a reason behind it it's not your fault but it needs to be considered and looked at and you need some help with that if you are struggling with your nutrition plan find somebody who can help you discover why and this is what i do this is not for when i had a a client yesterday and they were like oh you don't this isn't just a diet like when we started going through what we were going to do oh this isn't just a diet no we are here to work on the whole spectrum of your health we are here, we're going to work on your well-being as a whole we're going to work on your mental health we're going to work on your emotional health we're going to have activities to do that but we're not going to do it all at once it's about making some improvements one at a time or two at a time and just easing into it i don't jump in and go right let's do all this stuff because it's overwhelming you will stop you will quit you know this is creating new habits for life so you then become used to doing this we don't want you to slip back into your old ways the ways that got you sick the food that got you sick the emotional issues the mental health that got you sick we don't want to slip back into that so we want to just start creating new habits in your life and we can ease into that so i wanted to you know give you a heads up about why you aren't able to eliminate foods or why you're beating yourself up about it or why you're so hard on yourself you will not get better just by eliminating foods stop worrying about the diet just the diet diet is important nutrition is extremely important but the whole aspect is your mental health your emotional health if you don't work on that don't worry about it you you you're treading water if you're just working on that one aspect you're just treading water supplements are not going to save you half the time you're probably not even absorbing a lot of them i see people taking handfuls of supplements i need the b i need this i need this and and some of the time they're probably not even absorbing it so we want to get you absorbing things that you can take but it's going to cost you a fortune as well it's absolutely going to cost you a massive fortune to be taking all these things we want to strip that back and get you into doing real things real life working on every aspect of your health so drop in the comments if that has made any sense to you if you would like to talk to someone who wants to work on your health as a whole not just i don't want i can't i actually can't stand when i see health and wellness sites promoting a weight loss in in six weeks or you know we should we shouldn't be encouraging people to focus on that when they're not well it's so stressful it's hard to lose weight when you're not well it's hard to stick to something we want to work on how we can stick to something we want to work on the best things for you so that is what I do that is how I find that clients stay with things they create new habits and they become lifelong habits that is what it's about for me it's not about a shake diet it's not about a drink it's not about a um, you know a gluten-free diet yes maybe going gluten-free helped you but are you still sick do you still have issues do you still have symptoms i couldn't care less if you drop 10 kilos not eating gluten weight loss means nothing to me what what means everything to me is your mental health your emotional health what you are eating on like you could be having on a gluten-free diet and it could be extremely unhealthy so let's look at health and wellness long term so Rochelle will put the link to book in with me. You can, you can do a free 20 minute call. We can nut out a few things or you can book a consultation. Most people are booking a one hour personalized consultation. The initial consultation is where we're going to really dive deep and get into 
really sorting you sorting you out on a whole level um, if you're on Instagram link is in the profile have a look and let's start working on everything but in your own time so you're not going to be too overwhelmed <laughs>